Hey, it's Misty, and welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Sorry it's been a minute. I've been doing my part for the betterment of humankind. Let's put it that way. Black Lives Matter. Okay, let's get going. <laughs> All right. Yep, and we just go in here to continue the plot. We'll do some questing after the plot picks up a bit. I'm touching something I shouldn't. Yeah, it's controlling me. Uh-oh, I made a blade of light. Well, we cut that. And that. This is coming out of your paycheck. Tonk. You sliced something in half, yeah. You're paying for this, Ryan. All of it. Also, Fiara, are you okay? Apparently. That's weird. I mean, I can see how the Monado would be tempting to touch. Oh, it's shaking. What's going on here? Oh. I do like they, what they did with the facial expressions. It's much more emotive. saw a crap ton of stuff happen. I do like that they know that it's a blue blade of light coming out. Sometimes they don't even reference that it's a blade of light that's coming out in games. Also, they got the color right. Sometimes they don't get the color right when they say things. It's, it's odd, but it's mostly in older games. But still, it, it's strange. Yeah, I can understand what Fiora is feeling. Nearly killed him.
By the way, why is hallucination nothing to the Shulk? I know it's not actually hallucination, but for as, for as far as they know, it is. Well, that kind of explains your figure. Although, wouldn't that, like, destroy your body? Like, a thousand's kind of a lot. Besides, this armor plating will help a lot. Man, look how thick that stuff is. They changed that line. Pretty sure it used to be looks like it in the original version. Oh, skill trees unlocked. Sweet. Uh, arts. Oh, I can power these up now. How much do I have? That would be a nice thing to know. Can I? Oh, it's. Oh, I have to. There we go. I can level up now. Ah, okay. 247. Yeah, it's doing enough damage. I think healing would be much more useful. Um, try Rhines. 246. One less than me, but I probably killed something that was worth one AP. Uh, mm, does this increase more aggro? No. Talent gauge. Topple. Well... A better topple would be really nice. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, affinity chart. No, that's not the one I want. Ah, skill trees. That's the one I want. Let's see. Block rate, ether. Ah, agility up. This is the one I want to work on right now. But before I do that, uh, HP recovery when reviving a party member. What does this one do? Uh, medium. Okay. Successfully completed quest. Ah, that's real nice, though. But at the same time, it's not all that useful because enemies give so much experience that you pretty much are always about the right level if you just complete a few quests here and there. Uh, attention bonus. This is the weight of equipment. Uh, oh, skill links. That's locked right now. Okay, well... Um, that was medium weight arm. I'm looking for the heavy... Ah, oh, here we go. With enthusiasm for you. Critical rate up? That's fine. Strength up, agility up. Ooh, I want the agility ups, but... For right now, we'll go with that tree and... Tension bonus. Uh, why don't we go with... Uh, let's see. Reduces weight of equipment would be real nice, though. Uh, agility up. Start a bit with higher level enemy. That's actually really nice for uh, super bosses and whatnot. So we're going to go into tuition for right now. Yeah, those trees are fine. Party is fine. Change equipment. Now that I have it. <laughs> look at the attack difference. I'm taking it. It is going to make me overpowered for a little while, but I don't really care. Uh, those are already equipped, so it's fine. When it's equipped... Do I have anything for you? Uh, not really. 
I can look at, uh, I don't have all that much money. And Ryan will be fine with that weapon anyway. It's pretty much going to be his armor as well. So for right now, oh, art school, 20 XP, nice. I like the little tassels on the side here. I also like this like thing on my head, the little kind of horn type thingy. That's real nice. But we're going to go over to Tefra Cave. I do not have to walk there, but I do want to show you how to get there because I got it without, or uh, I'm pretty sure I have the, oh, right, it's, um, no. No, maybe I do need to go in here. Where is the map? No. Extra mode, low tutorials, change equipment. System menu. Yeah, I thought minus was the map. Well, I'm going to have to figure that out again. <laughs> Up? No, that's auto run. Down? Nope. Right? No. Sorry, I really need to figure out how to get to the uh, how to get to the map again. Uh, finish your quest log, change stuff. Oh, area maps. Man, I am blind as a bat right now. Colony 9. I do have... Oh, where is it? Maybe I didn't get it. Yeah, I haven't been up here then. So, you can get... Um, chewy radishes on Tefra Hill, so I'm going to have to walk there anyway. But I will show you how to get there through the residential districts, because I want to show you the crash machine anyway. Uh, but uh, Chewy Radishes do appear there. What you need over in um, where I got the thing by the Brog, you don't actually have to go around that Brog at all. But uh, Sorrow, Beaters, uh, Sorrow Beetles are on um, Agora Shore. That's it. You just look around for collectibles for a while. Yeah, this thing crashed into the house. We saw these in the... Um, oh, what was that? The opening kind of cinema... Not cinematic, but sequence. That's the word I'm looking for. Where we were playing as uh, Dunban. Yeah, we saw these things as they're sort of tanks. They're called mobile artilleries, as you heard earlier. But this is the way through the residential district, if you needed to know. There are some quests around here. I will pick them up later. Right now, I want to get a little bit further in. Oh, there we go. Tranquil Square. Got another, uh, uh, whatchamacallit done. Uh. Landmark, that's it. <laughs> yeah, Landmark. Check it out there. Let's see. There's a heart-to-heart -heart that I cannot view. Pretty sure I don't even have the right party members yet. Uh, I think I need to go around here. I want to get that red thing, but I'm pretty sure I can't get it this way. Yeah, it's over here. Where are... Oh, this must be one of the quests I have. Maybe it's even the current quest I have. I don't want to do it yet. I want someone else in my party. You know who. Fiora. She was just here. She will be in our parties shortly. Shortly. As opposed to Rockley. Or Metal Lee. Ah, Boruto is such a terrible anime. Uh, Naruto's decent. Well, Shippuden's decent. Naruto, the official stuff that's actually not filler, that's great. Because it only goes up to the Sasuke Retrieval arc. That's actually canon stuff. Everything else after that is filler. I'm pretty sure anyway. I'd have to check, but I'm pretty dang sure. And I just need to go over there. I do need Vang Teeth, but I... Eh, well, it's not that big a deal. Ah, crap. <laughs> Turn around. Yeah, 271 from a... Oh, 241 from a... <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, there we go. Vangtooth. That's one of two. I'm not gonna... Well, no, it's just money, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, crap. It turned around. There we go. Physical defense down. Come on, give me one more Vangtooth. Nope, just a filthy wing. Well, there's another Vang here, but it's a little under-leveled for us, so... We'll get very little experience for it. Come on, a little more. A little more. There we go. Well, it's not terrible experience, but we did not get the wing I needed. 
I am going to look for the wing on this last Vang and then go to Tefra Hill if I don't get it. I am pushing A on these like I need to, but that's mostly because I've been playing, uh... I've been playing Pokemon Shield a lot recently. Speaking of which, I might try a Nuzlocke on another save file. Oh, there we go. Quest completed. That should just be money. Yeah, uh... Kill quests like that are generally just money. At least in the early game, they give you some experience later on. I think. Uh, I'm not going to kill these things. Yeah. I don't know why these are... Oh, blue must be... Blue is low level. Uh, yellow is... Or not yellow. Like grayish brown, which is a strange color, uh, is like neutral experience for them. So these will give me less experience. Yeah, so... I mean, 12 experience. We're getting to Tefra Hill. Yeah, and there's a bunch of bunnets up there. Oh, those are only level 1, too. Those will give me, like, one experience at this point. And maybe a little more than one. Maybe a couple of experience. Won't be a lot, though. That's for sure. Yeah, let's get the uh, white beetle there. I'm just picking up collectibles as I see them. Even if you don't need them, it's still a good idea to pick them up because you get a lot of money for some of them. And you don't need a ton of everything... You will need some of everything, well, not maybe, maybe not even everything, but some of a few of the collectibles in each area, just because, well, one, the Collectopedia, and two, side quests will ask you for them a lot. And there's a very long side quest, which you need stuff from all over the place. Eh, wood bunnets. Tefra Cave should be just a little further. The reason I'm not fighting anything is mostly because it'll be more efficient to fight stuff a little later on. And I will... I do want the money from the quests. I just want, you know, them to be A, a little bit easier, and B, give everyone I can a little bit of experience. Not that the quests really give you experience, it's more so the killing of the enemies. You know, I've uh, speaking of killing enemies, it's kind of a strange thing in some games where you're clearly defeating enemies, but whether or not you're actually killing them or just leaving them there unconscious is... Um, up for debate, I'd say. Oh, there's the line. Okay, maybe they didn't change the line. It's just... I had them mixed up. Uh, this gauge shows the party's morale. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Nice, I can... Uh, revive party members and do chain attacks now, which is why I wanted a third party member, other than the other stuff I said. So all of it's now. Uh, nice. Eh, just some willow bonnets in the cave? Sure. I know you have more quests. Singing Brogs? I can do that. And one more. Male Lizards. Five Male Lizards. She's worried about Male Lizards, and they're the... They're probably the least dangerous thing in the cave. Oh, except for one in particular, but it's a unique encounter. Unique monster, whatever they call it. Where it's got a lot more HP. I'm actually going to go into Tefra Cave to get a little bit more plot and then come back out. Also because I'll be able to fast travel, or I'll skip travel. They're actually, the characters are actually still walking all the way around when you skip travel. That's why they, that's why they have comments like, uh, it taking a long time or they're really tired from it. Because they are still doing that canonically. Man. Tefra Cave. Monster type. Whenever monsters attack you, unless you knock them, 
Visual types will attack when they see your character. Sound types attack when they hear loud noises. You know, it's just all over the place. Let's see that uh, eye-looking symbol? Here, let me get close. Yeah, see? It attacked me because it saw me. And you cannot pick up collectibles while in combat. Probably should have said something about that earlier. There we go. I was waiting for Ryan to get aggro. Oh, quest completed. There we go. Oh, I must have killed two of them already. No? Did he only want one? Because I sure thought he wanted two. There we go. That increases tension. You just do better overall in combat when tension's high. Uh, you can tell a person's tension is high because they have that flaming background in front of them. Or behind them, rather. Backgrounds are generally not in front of you. They would call that the foreground. Can I... There we go. Ah, bunnet crystals. Taddy bun of wood. I don't think I can make gems just yet. I don't need the skeeters. And you can see the gauge up there. My party gauge is slowly depleting because I am out of combat. Now this is... If I can target it. There we go. Something you don't want to take on until you're about level 10 yourself. Cellular Bugworm. However, I want to get a little further in because I don't think I have a good skip travel point right now. Uh, area maps. There we go. Different cave. Yeah, I, oh, I'd have to go to the entrance. I'm pretty sure there's one a little further in I can go to. I'm going to bypass that uh, large caterpillar. Caterpile. Whatever. Oh, wow. That's a little harder in the... Uh, in the DE version, as I'll call it. Oh, pardon me a second. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. You know, I had to let the dogs out. Can't let them go in the house. Now, there are two chests here now because, uh, and I'm very slightly stronger, or just a few more experience points. It's not a big deal. I didn't even level up. Uh, some bunnies came up and attacked me before I could hit the X button fast enough to pause. So, small claw and a medium chest. Yeah, some bunnives. Yeah. All this to try and avoid a caterpillar. Actually, I'm going this way. There we go. I think there's something over there that I might want, but eh, not right now. These brogs I'm going to have to attack, and I need them anyway. All right. There we go. Now I can backslash. This will probably get me... Nah, sweet. Ah, chain attack. I do not want to use it right now. Yeah, chain link. Increases the affinity. Affinity power up chain. Oh, okay. So affinity makes that uh, more common. Oh, nice. That gave Fiora a huge boost of uh, tension. Oh, well, this is level 8. It's level higher than we are. Yeah, let's heal Fiora up a little bit. She's a little on the low side in HP. There we go. Treasures. Ooh, caravan gauntlets. Someone can use those. Change equipment. No, it's it's not ZR, it's just R. How are these for you? They're a little better. Does Fiora have the ability to use them? Yes. Physical defense. They work better on Rhine because it gives him a little bit of ether defense too. But Fiora has a lot less HP, so I want her to have them. And the other singing brog. Oh, and we both and we all leveled up too. Sweet. Ah, crap. <laughs> I missed that. Well, at least I can get the side ones for the physical defense down. Ah. It's nice that it's toppled, but it's just real bad that I can't uh can't watch him call it uh Daze it, because Daze goes after Topple, and it just extends the duration that it's down and can't do anything. Although, eventually, it will be sometimes not worth toppling monsters. I really want to do Stream Edge right now, because it'll hit the Vangs, too. Oh, quest completed. Sweet. How's Fiora doing on HP? Oh, Ryan's doing bad on HP. Heal. Ah, crap, I missed it. All right, let's revive you. 
Encourage Ryan. Encouraging is free. Reviving takes a bar of a party gauge. Hitting with the special effects of attacks does increase the party gauge. Of course, that thing changed before I could hit it, right? <laughs> I'll let you use. Uh, Fior can probably use those for a bit more uh, defense. Although Ryan could use a bit more defense himself. Uh, shoot. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, a little bit more plot. There we go. Magmel Ruins. That's the, uh, that's the, what do you call it? Landmark I wanted to get before I headed back and did some side quests just to pick up some cash and a little bit of extra experience. Very large vehicle. Exactly, Fiora. I do wonder, Shulk, I do. Sorry for being condescending, it's just... I, I Once you know the plot to this game, ever, it just things start to add up that you didn't realize before. This is a game you really want to play through twice. Preferably somewhat close to each other, but not... You'll probably burn out if you do them right back to back. I'm not saying you absolutely will, but you probably will. Now let's try and get this, because... Well, it saw me, so I didn't get the jump on it. Didn't get the tension boost. Now let's try and get the... Uh, I didn't get it. I wasn't quite at the side of it. Oh, you know what? I should probably be using this a lot more often, too. I'm just so used to not having to use that without the Monado. You know, because Dunban had the Monado, and he, uh... He could Monado enchant to make, uh... Whatchamacallit's more effective. I do not want to continue the story any further. I am far enough. I will get some side quests done... And then we will go do the uh, colony. Why is colony nine flagged? There's probably some quests I have to do out here, and that's why maybe my uh, the quest I have marked right now is uh well that is the closest to what I want to do. So why don't we try taking on one of those unique monsters? Unique enemies? I think it's unique enemies is the official term. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, it's right down there. Let's just jump on the water. Whee! Water breaks your fall, even though water from a significant enough height would just kill you. There we go. Oh, sweet, I got the big one. I got the big boost. And beach crabble. I don't really know that I was that far to the side, but I'll take it. Yeah, always remember to pick up the uh, treasure chests. That is definitely the word I meant to use, and I missed it. It just it it's a little more accurate than it was on the Wii version now. So <laughs> yeah, a thousand bucks, nice. It's more like a thousand. It, it's a thousand gold, but that much gold seems like a ton of gold. It's it's not really, because a lot of stuff costs, like, a few grand right now for, like, decent armor and stuff like that. But that's why... Oh, excuse me. That's why it's a good idea to pick some up. I don't think I got the... No, I got the small one. That's okay. I actually... Oh, I hit the wrong one. Oh, well. Let's try and get Wild down. 
If it, oh, it did work. Sweet. Uh, let's use a chain attack. How do you use a chain attack? Oh, right, right, right. You have to go up and then use a chain attack, so. I don't really need to. In fact, I don't think it'll let me now. <laughs> you do get an affinity coin and quite a bit of an experience for defeating unique enemies. Caterpile Syrup, Bouncer Knives, and Million Dorebar. Oh, ooh, shiny, because I got a large chest. I think they're called large chests. I can... Uh, achievements. Where is... Ooh, shiny. It's somewhere around here. And I have a gnat on my screen. I no longer have a gnat on my screen, but I do not know if I passed ooh, shiny. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah, that's much better. Alright, school... No. Oh, there it is. Open a super rare. Okay, it's... Common, rare, and super rare. I need to wipe off my screen a little bit. Sorry about that. I do, once in a while, well, not even once in a while, I often feel kind of bad for killing bugs. It's not like they're doing anything bad, but they are annoying me at the moment, and I just kind of do it out of instinct. And, uh, I don't know. It's, it's just a personal quirk I have. Anyway, now that that rare enemy is dead, and I have some new knives that Fiora might want, I am not sure if these are better. Bouncer knives, they are better. Yeah, even better than... I think I bought these, too. <laughs> so, actually, can I remove this? actually forgot how to remove it. Um, no? I just want to... X? No, that ain't it. Uh, no, that is not how you remove it. Remove from, se remove selected item. There we go. Take that and then use the bouncer knives. I, ah, oh, but these things give defense. Hmm. The auto attack's a lot better, though. Well, because Fiora has such low HP, if she does get aggro, I don't want her to die. I'm going to keep her with the, uh... Oh, I have better armor for her. A little less ether defense, but right now physical is the name of the game. So I'm going to keep her on the defense knives. Physical defense. Wow, you've actually got very low physical defense. you have anything better for physical defense? No, I'll probably get a bit of money and then get you some physical defense ar uh, armor. Speaking of which, oh, I have enough money to get him some. Anyway, this has gone on far longer than intended. I am going to call it here, and I will see you cool potatoes later. Hope, uh, hope you enjoyed. Catch you next time, and have a good one.